What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful Sunday morning. The weekend is here. We done made it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Chapters down below. If you want to skip around to a certain subject, but we got so much hype stuff, I sound like a broken record, but it's true. You know what I'm saying? Well, chapters down below. I already said that, but them sub buttons. Well, there's only one sub buttons. I don't know why I said plural. Anyway, I'm messing up. Please subscribe. We own the race. I'm proud to say we done hit 51K on the race to 52. 52 is a great number, baby. Let's go. On the race to 52K. Thank you guys for the amazing love. We's about to check these buttons. Let's go. All right, now into them teching $1 million. That's right. It looks like it's real, ladies and gents. Gamers 8 Esports buttons that need to be checked. So we did a story. I want to say we did like two, right, on these guys. Their Esports team, right, profile on the screen says Gamers 8 returns this summer bigger better bolder underneath that you can see it's located in saudi arabia now i know there's some past here now when they first announced this Tekken tournament for one mil had a little vibe to it right where people were calling scam they were saying this is bullshit there weren't a lot of details because there was nothing but like pros commenting underneath the original post not receiving any answers they were like how the hell do you get invited to this um then they went on shortly after to announce the street fighter 6 tournament for one million dollars as well same type of setup with the invitational a lot of people are like we don't know if this is actually going to come to pass uh, apparently there's some type of history with saudi i don't really know uh, but some people were saying that you know certain players i guess didn't get paid i don't know if it's still with gamers 8 but you know they were talking about in general right here they say meet the gamers 8 tekken 7 nations cup captain lineup and down below it has all the countries and you can see some big names and of course you see none other than arslan ash i see someone adds to it right here saying the 16 captains will be attending a side tournament as well made just for them Prizes only for the top four waiting for this moment. Then Gamers 8 actually gives details, breaks it down right here saying, here's what you can expect every day at the Tekken 7 Nations Cup. Four pack days of top players from 16 countries all around the world and it goes down July 6th through the 9th. It is this week, are you shitting me? What is July 4th? Isn't that like Tuesday, right? So this is going down like what, what Thursday? Damn, I didn't even know it was this close. And they go a little deeper talking about the prize split, right? They say introducing the massive prize pool split for Gamers A Cross Tekken 7 Nations Cup. Join us as nations clash for the bragging rights and ultimate supremacy from of course the 6th through the 9th. Then here it is, first place. $500,000. Second, 200, then what is it? 100, fourth is 80,000, 40,000, and seventh to eighth is still $20,000, damn. And of course, the FTC is reacting. Some people are like, yo, look at the names on this list. Finna be a banger. Others are like, everybody on this list is terrible, except for the greatest talent in Tekken history. Then I see none other than the CPT champ twice over, Mena RD, who was actually with Arslan, right? I think they were training for Street Fighter VI. Anyway, he replies saying, is the Street Fighter VI Nations Cup 2? And uh, some reply, but not uh, Gamers 8, so I don't think he got the answer to that. And you got a lot of more people that are just hyped because it actually actually looks like it's finna go down you know some people still like eh, maybe still a scam and I think others thinking okay even if it goes down are people gonna receive that paper are they gonna get paid because that's the main thing that you know that matters at the end of the day because you can have all the lights the camera and the action but if you ain't got that scratch baby then none of that means anything but in this case for now yo they finally given details it's finna go down and if it happens and if it happens the way it's supposed to happen, holy shit, that Street Fighter Nations Cup, the Street Fighter VI, that's gonna be amazing. You're talking about another million dollars just up for grabs? Damn, I hope. I hope for these players' sake, I really do, that it's real money and it's legit. But that's just me. How y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, now into the next set of Street Fighter IV is getting rollback buttons that need to be checked. So this one pops up, obviously, in the world of Street Fighter IV, one of my all-time favorite games, brought to us by somebody by the name of Omega Tom Hanks. Gotta love the name. Profile on the screen. And one more time, all the content creators and the news and whatnot, their links down below. Definitely check them out. Show them some love. Well, we posted this the other day saying rollback is being developed 
for Street Fighter 4. I don't know who this person is, but you have all my support and I would throw money at you if I could. I see others responding to this saying, wait, it doesn't have rollback already? Tom Hanks says, no, the net code is awful by today's standards. Some kind of adding to that saying like, you know, well, how is this possible? He responds again saying, all I know is safe states are already functional. The work now seems to be more focused on the lobbies and desync detection. They respond saying, that's sick. I'm super pumped for you guys. This could have ramifications for retrofitting rollback into other games, at least. I really hope so. Then somebody by the name of, is it Tom Scrolla crap or at Tom Scrolla? I'm probably butchering that, but they say, hey, do you know who this person is? And they say it's uh, Lulo Win, and I know I'm messing that name up. Lula Win. Lulo, Lula, Lu, LOL, Win. It's, uh, it's right there. You can read it. You, you know what the hell I'm trying to say. Tom Hanks responds saying, I honestly didn't know, thanks. If I get a good job within the next few months, I will hit him up to help fund the project seriously. Then you can see right here where they tag him saying, if you have any technical questions, you can reach out right here on uh, Mastodon. Then right here, you can see where they post saying, I have the opportunity to do something epic for the Street Fighter IV commit number 69. So there you go. We'll see for all the people that love, you know, Street Fighter IV, Ultra, all that good stuff will come back give the game another chance. I know when five came out, a lot of people said that that killed four, even though a lot of people that thought four was still better than five, that's usually the way things go, right? When the next version of the game comes out, the other one is kind of thrown to the west side. You see Third Strike, you still got what, the jazz circuit, the jazzy circuit, people love that game. It's always gonna be a classic. Four, I don't know, it just feels like it's in a weird area. Five, let me know if you think I'm wrong, but that game just seems like it's gonna burn in hell. Like now that six is out, I don't see anybody even having a side tournament for five, but that's just me. How y'all feeling? Roll back for Street Fighter 4. Let me know. All right, now into them jury feet or hitting a jury combo with your feet. Buttons that need to be checked, so damn. How I think this was only a matter of time, right? Everybody knows jury and the feet fandom and people love them some feet. When it comes to jury, jury doesn't, re jury is in a whole league of her own when it comes to feet. Well, apparently a cosplayer, you know, Twitch partner by the name of Barry Crepe, profile on the screen, her information down below, definitely check her out. Hit a damn combo or the super, won a damn match using jury while using her feet. Posted this saying, no shot, I actually hit jury super playing with only my feet. Here's the clip, check it out. Does it get better than that? That is jury execution at its finest. And I wanna thank Brino Matthew for tagging me in this. It's hilarious. And of course, FTC is reacting saying uh, either what the fuck or no shot, holy shit, or I was there. That's how true jury players do the game. Everybody loves this. Who doesn't love this shit? You know what I'm saying? Everybody's watching this, going crazy. Give this young lady her props. Once again, her information down below. That's what's up. I love it. How y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, now into them Red Bull Kumite buttons that need to be checked. Man, this is going on over the weekend, right? First popped off, I want to say like Saturday. Could have been the day before, but that's when I started watching it, right? And then of course, now you got Sunday where it's going to be the grand finals. They're all supposed to do the first ever combo competition. We definitely got to cover that hype, but first, we're going to cover that LCQ, the last chance qualifier, and the winner was none other, Kakaru, who's also been called Japan's best SJP in Street Fighter 6. Right here you can see where Red Bull Gaming posted this saying congrats on your Red Bull Kumite LCQ winner. Kakaru will be entering the Kumite cage as our 16th fighter tomorrow. Then at the end of the LCQ they did something really cool, right? Uh, Logan and Rob TV, the boy, Rob TV, right? Had a team's battle, right? They were the two team captains and they had like a whole bunch of players, like pros, well-known names, right? Underneath them, and they took turns. It was kind of like a winner stays on type of thing. I loved it because you know they're homies, but they were also talking that smack, you know what I'm saying? Keeping it inside the game. Takeda was doing the damn thing, whooping some ass, like eliminating people left and right, and then all of a sudden they call in Leffen. You know the smash guy. They called in Leffen and said, yo, we're gonna throw down. We're gonna go a little outside the box. Here's how it went down. General Street Fighter Field. And I am going to summon to the stage Big Leffen, please. I thought, he, I thought he was going to ask for Big Bird to come back up oh, no, when no, I heard big, the big. I thought he, he got, he, he, JP hit him with the amnesia and he forgot that he got decimated. And Do you know what's down. bigger than the birdsy? Yes. The left. 
The big left. Big, big if left. Big if true. Massive if factual. Gigantic I am super if real. Let me play Street Fighter 6. Have these two players encountered one another? So actually, I was talking to them yesterday. They have you never had a game that she was broken. <laughs> yeah. And he would just throw people to death on Soul Calibur 4. I'm like, Tokido, why are you so good at every Skull game, man? It is not fair. I call him the Shohei Otani of fighting games. He's just sort of perfect on every aspect. Let's see if Leffen can put a dent in that perfect armor of his. Okay, he's got some frame traps. I like it. <laughs> Is there edge guarding in Street Fighter 6? Because if there isn't, I, I don't see how Leffen stands a chance. Against someone who's been, not to say that Leffen can't nice. do it, but Tokido, oh, nice conversion there from Left, has been playing Street Fighter, the, the genre, the game, for, I don't know, probably as long as Leffen's been alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Difference of age, but the experience is massive on Leffen's side, of course. And you can see that Jury is looking clean so far, keeping Tokido away. Of course, Jury's oh, main to the drive. burnt out. Who's gonna get it back first? Ooh, he wants to guarantee chip. Oh! oh what? <laughs> they learned. That's a win. Oh, boy. Big damage. All right. All right. Mm. Oh, my God. Tokido. Tokido is looking a bit too strong. Logan, the distance is increasing. How long for man is it? I've only got one player left. Yeah. Have you talked to the player? Is he okay? Huh? Is he okay for, jump, for jumping in now? You... Okay, and there you have it. And some people said it has to be expected, but you know, you got to give left in his props. The dude doesn't really play Street Fighter and he's competing with the best of the best. He's doing a lot better than I thought he would. Like, I never ever thought I would see Leffen versus Takedo. You know what I'm saying? I love what this game is doing. I love how people are coming together for Street Fighter VI in all different type of, you know, from all different type of games and whatnot. And on top of that, Oil King ended up coming on the stage to face Takedo. He actually knocked Takedo off. Na, 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 na. Oh, oh. Get out! Oil King looking up. too good! Business just picked up! I think Tokido was just tired of winning. That's how I would interpret that. After Oil King knocked Takedo off, Rob TV had some words for Oil King. Oil King gave it right back to him. Check it out. So because of that, I will avenge his loss. My damn self. Oh! Where's my controller at? I oh, think... Oh, <laughs> Matt's picking the sticks. He said, put me in coach. Wait, I'm the coach. Did he just nominate himself? Is I this... can like Phil He's Jackson with, with Brock TVs. <laughs> he cannot play. He cannot He's play. seen you play Brock before, he so that he knows he's selling the rule. He cannot play. I said, or he, I said Roy is one of the best hosts in the whole, whole world, but not a player. <laughs> he said you're the best host. Stay on the mic. He said I'm the best host, but I'm not a player. A content creator. Not a player. He called me a content creator. Not a player he said anymore. go and do a reaction video to that Tokido set. Upload that on YouTube. Forward slash Rob TV. Like and subscribe. Want to support his channel. Quickly, Oil King, please dispatch Rob so that he can get the gimbal. Rob, who are you sending up next just so we can get him ready? The SLR and start recording interviews with the road mic. It's going to full content creation mode. And with the DJ, very good. There's so much discourse about how. Good or not good. Oh, oh wow, with the uh, shimmy uh, and the hitting him with the low with the shins. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, yeah, he's a player. Oh my god. Oil King. Did you just stand up at like a titan to look over the wall I and take a glance? Bro, Rob's win, good, please. but Oil King, don't let Rob beat you. You will not see the end of it. Please. This is true. Okay, In so Rob now steps up to the challenge. Oil King's kind of laughing at him. How do y'all think it went down? How do you think it went down? Well, let me tell you, you might be surprised, but Rob TV, he came in the clutch. He whooped it. He lost. He lost. I do the corner now. Oh, that DI. Yeah, this time goes for the spin. One medal. Hey! Oh! That overhead is so fast. He's not moving. I don't need to stand. What are you standing up for? I will stand at the end Business of the game. Business as usual. Oh, wow. the wake up slide. Done! It was a valiant effort. Listen, Rob. I just have one bad news for you, Rob. The game was a bit too long to fit into a YouTube short. You'll have to make a full video I'm gonna of it. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Me losing that proves officially that DJ is not top five <laughs> in this game. Let's be honest. Come 
Ah! And that was pretty much it from there. Oil King took the whole damn thing one, therefore Logan's team won, and they had this to say. Position <laughs> bowing on the confetti. I will be forever in the debt of Oil King just for the fact that I get to look at this expression on your face. I don't know what happened, bro. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I'm pretty happened. sure. I'm pretty sure they need, to, they need to adjust that metal system, maybe. You know, maybe Manon might be stronger than DJ as well, like a lot of other characters. I don't know what else happened right there, man. Like, I, you did something to Takedo's controller. Or what something. did you say to Takedo, man? You obviously gave him some advice and it completely threw him off. I, I, I told Takedo that I wanted to play, so he should throw the match. Yeah. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> First, round. First round. So, that is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you are feeling. Thank you guys for the amazing love, man. We will see you soon. If not tomorrow, definitely the next day. In this case, honestly, it's probably going to be tomorrow because we have so much hype action going over this weekend. And real quick, before we get out of here, I want to give a quick shout out to the latest Patreon. Well, a returning Patreon that just updated a pledge, which blew my damn mind right here, man. Big up, Drew G. Went from a $5 pledge to a $50 pledge. I saw this and I was like, holy shit, damn near spit out my drink. Thank you for the amazing love. Thank you for the Patreons, man, for all the amazing support. Uh, we posted a, a new video on the Patreon just a couple days ago, and we got another one coming soon. Link down below if you want to support the channel that way. Thank you, guys. Thank you for helping us do this full-time because we got about one more month till we go full-time. Thank you for the amazing love. I'm repeating myself. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Matter of fact, more than likely, probably tomorrow. And as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love you forever. Peace! Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe! You can. And I want to clear this up right here. And, and, and what about this clip right here? What did they mean by this? The mic. He said, I'm the best host, but I'm host. not a player. Just a content creator. Not a player. Just an he called me a content creator. Not a player he said, anymore. go and do a reaction video to that taquito set. Every time they want to take a shot at a pro or a former pro, they call him a content creator now. What's up with being a content creator? Y'all act like content creators can't throw these. You know what I'm saying? We throw these motherfuckers. Content, if it wasn't for throwing these so well, we wouldn't be content creators. You see what I'm saying? Follow me right here. Follow me. I'm going to go back real quick right here. Follow me. You follow me? Okay, now I'm going to come back and focus. If we wasn't so good on the combat field, in the cage, we wouldn't be so good right here in front of the camera on the ones and the toes. This is what I'm saying. One plus one equals two. If you're a good, con if you're a good content creator, use a good, use a good player. If you could talk on the mic, you could throw them hands. That's one plus one equals two. Now you say, Nesto, how many tournaments have you won? Don't get in my shit. Don't get in my business. That's my business. Trying to get personal shit. Nesto, how many LCQs and, and Evos and, and local? Don't. Don't worry about it. I can throw them.